Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. I hope that you're, you have made it safely through the holidays and you have, were able to find some rest, some peace, and some joy. Today, we're going to go through um, my journal. We're going to do a flip through. And we're also going to make a new journal. And I'm going to show you how I did that. And we're, then I will do the first page in my journal. And I will talk about some of my thoughts and what has happened in the process of the year of my journal. So let me um, okay, grab my journal here. So let me scooch this over. Okay, so here is my lovely chunker. And one of the things that 2023 brought me was obviously my word of the year was curiosity. And it was fully a year of curiosity. I tried everything. And if you'll remember, I started with um, my anthropology book. Where did it go? I started with my anthropology book and you can see all the tabs in there and how I how I used this as inspiration and you can obviously see what came from that and so I just tried everything I found all different kinds of artists different books um, all of that. So these first few pages are that process of me just really kind of searching. And to be honest, the beginning of that year was a really difficult time. We were reeling still from uh, Brother Dave's death and his loss with mental illness. And um, so I, what I, I had to do something, and this is a great way, what I did at the beginning of the year is find a book, a magazine, or something that inspires you. And every single page of this book inspired me. And I tried to recreate something similar to what I saw in those pages. And I didn't have to think too hard about it or come up with an idea. I just found the inspiration. And so that's how it started, my curiosity year. And then it just took off. I was voracious for finding new things that inspired me and it taught me so much about my art what I like what I don't like what I want to pursue how I want to show up here it taught me so much and so these are those pages I this was a really particular artist I don't remember but uh, she had some really interesting pieces and um beautiful scars. This was another part of the process of excavating using parts of my old work. And this was an old piece of uh, old um, print that I had done years ago that I took apart and kind of put back together in a different way. This was my experiment with Georgia O'Keeffe. And um, this, was, this was a hard one. And I started here at this point because you can see it's not finished. These are all pretty pages back here. I started at this point really studying what I loved and what I didn't. And I started writing notes to myself. And um, like, what do I like? What don't I like? Who was this inspired by? Why, did I, why was I inspired by her? Different things like that. Um, this was an exper this and I, sh I showed this in the video of me experimenting in my journal with texture to take to a project, a full project. And I started working less in my journal and more on larger pieces at this point. And I found through this process that this size of journal is too small for me. And so it didn't serve me. So I decided to use it more so as the place where I tried out things for the actual project. And I share some of that in some of those videos. Same with this one. This I was working on my flowers. This was Sunday Inspiration 827 experiment. Another experiment for that. 
And so these pages became the journey to the actual piece. And sometimes I would do it just on paper and then I put it into my journal and that's what this one is. These are all me trying to figure out how to do something that I saw or what I loved or working and I still I'm in the flower phase I still have so much work to do look at this texture this was actually I don't remember what if this was Sunday inspiration or an experiment um, and then this one we just recently did and these are these were um, membership um, projects and then what I started to do was I started to go back because I did you can see where I went from this was in August and then we were in November was the next journal page that I did and I was doing large pieces bigger pieces um, and some really big like 30 by 24 um, but what I started to do was go back to those pieces and I printed out the ones that challenged me or that um, I didn't like, something in particular about them to take notes of. And I started putting those in my journals, in this journal, and we'll do the same for the next journal. Because this is a document of where I am, where I was, what I'm learning. And it's all about the growth process as we continue to grow as artists. So this was in February of 2023 that I did this. This was one of the very first ones that came from Anthropology Book. Um, this was kind of a spin-off, I think, of the, the butterflies. More anthropology inspiration. And I was really kind of brutally honest about um, what I loved and what I didn't. This one here started a whole new color combo for me. That green and that blue, ah, oh, so good. And that, again, came from something I saw in a book. And then this one, I just, um, I didn't like this one. Uh, you know, after the fact, when you kind of go back and you look at it, I was like, eh, it's too much. But that's okay because we need to do this too much to get to what we actually like. And so from this, I just kind of did a five minute kind of, let's see how I could tone these colors down. Like I took the same colors and yet I added more green, some more neutrals and made it not quite so bold. Um, and then these are, these are me experimenting with collage and trying to just find pattern, shape, and different things like that, especially for the new workshop that's coming out and that new content that's in the membership right now as of this filming, Cut Collage Create. We did all kinds of collage. So these are all the places, this is the place where I start. And then uh, more of my pieces that I did, this was like the, this was a part three, I think, of me. This was a very large canvas. And um, I really, I took a photo of that, be that, you know, the beginning part of it. And I really like the freedom in it. And so that, get, that sends me signals to what I love. And like, I love the bottom graphics of this part. So, um, like this says, incorporate more purposeful papers or um, different things like that. So I'm writing myself notes and 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 learning to to notice my own work and what works for me. Because you may look at this and say that's absolutely my favorite. And for me, there's things that I want to change because I am changing myself as an artist. And then these are just some playtime, again, with collage paper and shapes and different things like that. And the freedom, learning to be free, is one of my key elements for this year. And then florals. I need a lot of work on my florals because I know what I want in my head. I just cannot get it out on, on my canvas or my journal page. And while I love these and they both have a different story, there's more, I want more freedom. I was getting a little freer here. 
And then I haven't done any more florals since then because part of it is because it it's hard for me. And I don't know what the block is because I I love florals and that's all I did for quite some time. But it's that freedom that I want. And then I, I got a couple pieces that I did this year and kind of compared them and to like, so I love this, I love the color palette. How could I take some of this texture and bring it into here and still keep it calm and soothing. Um, this isn't the, uh, I love this one. And I want to, I want to do more of this tech cause this was all texture. It was so glorious. This was such a fun project. And the reason that it's in here is so that I remind myself, okay, what do I want to do? Because when I am now looking for inspiration, I don't have to go to a book, I, I will, but I can also come back here and say, oh yeah, I need to work on my flowers. I really like the freedom of this, so how do I do that again? And so these, and I haven't fully written all of my notes on this one yet, um, but that is what this journal turned out to be because it felt too small and restrictive for what my growth that was happening for the year. And then of course my final page, um, which we did last week. So that's my flip through of my journal page. Now, I just, I want to remind you that as you create, if however you have been creating in the past, if it doesn't serve you now, it's okay to let it go. It's okay to say, that's not what I want to do anymore. And that was a hard thing for me because I, you know, if I commit to something, I'm going to do it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create every page in this journal page. And when it finally just, it, it didn't excite me anymore, this size in particular. And I had so many ideas that I just needed to get out of my brain and onto the page. Once I let go of that perfection part of having a perfect journal, perfect pages, per perfect everything, and having it be this wonderful showcase at the end of the year. Once I let go of that, though, everything opened up. And I use it as my best friend, my tool, my place to go to get more ideas, to, to examine what I love and what I don't and to remind me of color palettes and all of those kinds of things. So that's my flip through for, um, for 2023. Now let's talk about this. Here's my new journal. And this is 11 by 17 copy paper that I have, I gessoed front and back. I used my roller and my, my Liquitex gesso, and I rolled each of the pages. I have about 20 sheets in here, and that should serve me well for the year. And if it doesn't, I can make another one. But I, so I gessoed both sides, and then I came back and I uh, clipped them together, clipped all the pages together. Once the pages were dry and gessoed, um, I clipped the pages together I used my bookmaking tools and my awl and my wax thread. Wax thread is key to making this work and not having the um, the thread expand and contract and all of those kinds of things. Now, I like creating on this paper because it's nice and thin. It feels like a leather book. Um, but you can obviously do this on mixed media paper. And I have found I haven't been... Um, I haven't been taping my spines when I create, but um, I found that a couple of the pages got a little loose in my last one. And so, uh, you know, depending on what I'm doing, I will probably tape the spine. And I have, this is artist tape, and it's nice because it's white, but you'll also need, if you tape it, you're gonna need to gesso it as well because uh, the paint will respond differently to the tape if you're doing a double page spread. Now, speaking of double page spread, I don't think that I will be doing full double, it just depends. I'm gonna do one today, uh, but I like the idea of being able to take one sheet and create on it 
create, experiment, whatever I want to do, um, and then turn the page. So we'll see how that goes. That's kind of my thought process for this journal. And for the, and the, another reason why I choose this paper um, versus, say, a mixed media paper or something like that is because I don't want this to be precious. I want this to be a working journal. I don't want it to be a showcase at the end of the year. I want it to really reflect my journey. And that's what the other journal ended up being, was a reflection of how much I've grown. There was such a shift in how I create this last year uh, because I allowed myself the freedom to try everything. Everything. I Some of the stuff I did, I did not like, but I did it because it gave me ideas, it gave me color palettes, it gave me all different kinds of things. And so give yourself permission to just go for anything, whatever that might look like. So it was truly a year of curiosity. And there was a gigantic shift within me on how and what I want to create. And I love that. I love that. And I'm truly excited about what's to come. And so for this year, um, my word for the year is adventure for a lot of reasons. One, because I, I have so many different passions, so many different things that I love to create, and that's like jewelry making, I love to quilt, I sew, I refinish furniture, I um, love needlepoint, I love cross stitch, punch needle, all different kinds of things. And I want to be able to do some of those things and see how that influences my artwork. The other thing about adventure is that I want to be able to take some time away from this space and travel and create while I'm traveling or use where we travel to inspire the pages, to inspire my artwork, to inspire all of it. And so I'm committed this year to um, try to take either a mini trip or a bigger trip, depending on the, my schedule and all of that, once a month. So a mini trip would just be like a trip to the vineyard or a trip to the mountains or an overnight stay somewhere um, close by that, you know, I can drive to, you know, with the hubby or with a friend. And then we always have a couple of bigger uh, vacations that we do a couple of times during the year or the kids will come here. We, you know, we bring all the kids in. Um, but I want to be able to document that and use that as inspiration for my artwork. And I am, I'm hoping that I can do that and I'm hoping that I can stick with it because I love being home and I love being here, but that is my challenge for myself this year, adventure to get out of my comfort zone in this space and experience things differently and see how it changes how I create. So that is my word for the year, adventure. So this page here, this very first page, is going to be my adventure page. And I'm going to do a full spread. I have... I have some collage papers that I want to use as far as adventure. And I'm thinking about travel as I do this. I'm thinking about, you know, as you travel the highway, what do you see? What kind of landscapes do you see? Is it city? Is it, you know, all those kinds of things. And so I want to use some of my collage paper um, that I have a ton of and create some type of landscape. I also plan to use I have a couple of stencils out here. I have, um, I'm not sure this is going to come, I don't know yet. I pulled it because I thought if I do a landscape I can kind of have in the forefront a big tree. Then I also thought I've got my rambling branches and I think I like this one better because it's freer. And that's the name of the game for me right now. So I have those out and then I also have my um, letters, two couple letter stencils because I'm going to put down the word adventure. Um, this is old type text large and this is bold font, I believe. And um, so all the stencils that I use uh, will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description box. Um, but they will also be on sale this week. So whatever I use, that is that. 
Okay, uh, I don't know where else this is gonna go, um, but that's the adventure. And I can't wait to dive into 2024 and see what it brings me and how I can grow even more as an artist, as a human being. And um, I'm excited about it, truly excited. So I am going to get started on this before we uh, get going. I just want to remind you that in two weeks, in a week, I'm trying to remember when this is going to come out, uh, a week possibly, in a week the membership doors will be opening and um, we have such a wonderful group of creatives and every single workshop that I do goes into the membership and um, we have a membership community right there in the, in the workshop classroom that you can share your work, ask questions. We have Q and A's, we have um, art challenges every month. We have, you get a, a deeper dive into Sunday inspiration. So I just wanna let you know that that's coming up. I'll send out an email to everyone, but uh, just FYI, the doors to the membership will be opening and that will only happen twice a year now. So, okay, I don't think there's anything else that I have to tell you. Right now, um, I'm going to create my beautiful adventure spread here, and um, I hope you enjoy the project. I hope that you find your purpose, your goal, your word, whatever you want to call it for this new year, and that um, it challenges you and that it helps you grow. It helps you think and get out of your comfort zone just a little bit because that is where the good stuff happens. All right, my loves, let's get creating. I hope that you have a wonderful Sunday and I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.